Hey there, are you ready to listening to this industry story? The story is telling about the importance of getting rid of the bad habits when you are still a kid. The story is begin with the businessman who had a son has having a bad habits, and he get rid of the bad habits when he meet with the wine master. So let's begin with the story. Tofu, don't talk with your mouth full. It's okay, Jaya. It's just you and me. I think the only way to get you eat quietly is to tell you a story. Hmm. Yes. Yes, Jaya. Bad habits. Once upon a time, a rich businessman lived with his eight-year-old boy. Just as his wife had said, she the businessman loved his son, but hated that he had some bad habits. Worried about his son's behavior, the man went to a wise master. Oh, wise master! My son is a very good boy, but he has picked some unhealthy habits which I cannot get him to let go. I worry about him all the time. Please help me. Bring him to me tomorrow morning. The next morning, the man did as the master had said. He brought his boy to him. Come, son. Let's go for a walk. The boy obeyed, and they went for a walk in the garden. As they walked, they came upon a little sapling. Son, pull out the sapling. For me. The boy did that easily and presented the master with the sapling. Very well. Now you see that small plant? Pull that out for me. The boy did as asked and easily pulled the plant out. Next, the master asked him to pull out a bush. It took some effort, but the boy did that too. Now see that small tree, son. Pull that out for me. The boy went to the small tree, and though it took him a lot of effort and struggle, he pulled it out for the master. Very well done. Finally, look at that big tree over there. Pull that out too for me. The boy tried and tried, but the tree did not budge. Finally, tired, the boy gave up. Sorry, wise master. I cannot pull that tree out. It is old and strong. Bad habits are just like the plants and trees. When they are new, like the sapling, you can get rid of them quickly and easily. But if you let them stay and grow, they grow strong and become like the old tree that cannot be removed. Forgive me, Master. I now understand what my father has been trying to tell me. I will drop all my bad habits 
from now on. Dia, what if talking with food in my mouth becomes my bad habit too? I will stop it right now. I will never talk with food in my mouth ever again. That's great. Thank you, Tofu. So, after you listening to this story, do you realize that there is important to not having a bad habits when you are still a kid? This is because when you grow up, there is difficult to get rid of the bad habits, and just like the big old tree. I think that's all for me. See you next time.